In the hunt for the Night Stalker, cops have two critical clues. A suspect sketch provided by the killer's surviving victims, and a car that was driven by the killer from his latest crime scene and found abandoned in a parking lot four days later. Fingerprint experts have been scouring the vehicle nonstop, but traditional powdering methods have yielded no prints. And time is running out. But once you deposit a latent print residue, uh, the clock is ticking um, for how long you have to develop it. Over time, as, as the residue evaporates and, and degrades, you're less likely to be able to develop a visible fingerprint, a viable fingerprint to identify. So police are about to turn to a revolutionary new device for detecting fingerprints, a laser. Lasers, highly concentrated beams of light, were invented in 1960. By the late 1970s, they started to enter the world of fingerprint detection. Unlike powders, which have to attach to moisture, like oil or sweat, to make a fingerprint visible, a laser doesn't need moisture to see a print. When the beam hits a surface, the light illuminates certain compounds like sodium and glucose, left behind when fingerprint residue dries up. The introduction of lasers in fingerprinting was groundbreaking, but their usage was limited. The well, first lasers were very large and clunky, and they needed to be chilled appropriately and cooled down. That wasn't very effective for crime scenes, so often the evidence would have to be brought back to the lab to be analyzed. By the 1980s, portable handheld laser scanners were invented that could be carried to crime scenes. Using the laser like a flashlight, investigators can canvas an area with a six inch wide beam looking for prints. And in 1985, the Orange County Sheriff's Department had the only handheld laser on the West Coast. They've never put it into use until now. And the Night Stalker's vehicle will make for a very high profile test case. After scanning for half a day, they're almost ready to give up. But then, the laser finally does what traditional powdering could not. It detects a print on the rear view mirror. The Night Stalker has made a critical mistake. And without laser technology, his slip up may have gone unnoticed. <laughs> 